In 2025, the U.S. Army's future long-range assault aircraft, FLRA, program is entering a crucial phase, marking significant progress in the development and testing of the next-generation transport helicopter. The program aims to create a future long-range assault helicopter to replace outdated models and provide the U.S. Army with advanced capabilities for a wide range of missions. Special attention is given to modernizing digital technologies, creating open systems and launching testing phases, leading to the first flight of prototypes in 2026. A major milestone was the approval of the decision to transition into the design and manufacturing phase, allowing the Army to implement the first stages of the FLRAA weapon system development contract. This step, taken in August 2024, paves the way for deeper developments and further testing, including the creation and evaluation of six Bell V-280 Valor prototypes, which were selected as the basis for the program. One of the key aspects of FLRAA is the implementation of the Modular Open Systems Approach. MOSA, ensuring the system's upgradability and compatibility with future technologies. MOSA facilitates the creation of a flexible, easily upgradable architecture, allowing new technologies to be integrated quickly without the need for redesigning the entire system. This is crucial in modern threat environments, where rapid response and the ability to integrate the latest solutions can be decisive. Additionally, significant attention is being paid to the development of a new manufacturing complex for assembling FLRAA components. In December 2024, Bell Textron announced the selection of a site in Texas, which will serve as the base for manufacturing key components of this high-tech helicopter. The facility, covering 41,500 square meters, is expected to begin operations in 2028 and will play a pivotal role in meeting the program's ambitious goals. The Bell V280 Valor, the base platform for the FLRA represents a major leap forward for the U.S. Army. Combining vertical takeoff and landing capabilities with high cruising speed, it significantly extends flight range and speed compared to traditional helicopters like the UH-60 Black Hawk. The V-280 can reach speeds of up to 520 km per hour and has a combat range exceeding 925 km, greatly enhancing rapid response and transportation capabilities in complex combat situations. One of the distinguishing features of the V-280 is its unique design with fixed engines, which improves aerodynamics, reduces weight, and simplifies maintenance. This also increases system reliability and allows for more efficient use of resources when operating in various environments. With the introduction of FLRAA, the U.S. Army is preparing to significantly strengthen its air mobility capabilities. This aircraft will serve as a versatile platform for performing a wide range of tasks from medical evacuation to search and rescue operations and mission destruction. It will be an indispensable tool for Army brigades in near-combat conditions, where high mobility, extended missions and rapid decision-making are required. The FLRAA program will continue to develop in the coming years, including preparations for the first flight in 2026 and initial production, scheduled for 2028. These stages will provide the U.S. Army with the opportunity to quickly adapt new capabilities to carry out missions, expanding strategic horizons in national security protection.